What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back at Insurance Auto Auctions for another IA walk around. Let's jump into this today with the only one on my list. As I said earlier, we're trying out a new style of video to see if it works or if it doesn't. It's going to be much shorter, which means you have more time to watch this video and then go watch other stuff on YouTube instead of a 30 or 40 minute video. I'm hoping to knock these out between 10 and 15 minutes. That way you see one car and you know what it is on the thumbnail. And if you click it, it's because you wanted to see it. If this is a style of video that you like, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button and drop a comment below and tell me that you like it. If not, drop a comment below and let me know as well. It's just an experiment that I'm trying. Now we're going to get into this with a 2020 Ford F-150 XLT that looks to be in perfect condition except for one thing. We've seen this before. Biohazard needles. Yeah. <laughs> um, it also has this big writing up here that says do not move. So I'm going to assume they don't want us to, to move it. I, 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 maybe not. I, I don't know. Maybe they don't want people moving it because they don't want people to go inside. I think that blue writing is from the insurance company. That is not what IAA uses on their cars. They use this yellow. They've got red. They've got all kinds of colors, but they do not use blue. Now, what's interesting is... Oh, dude, did someone steal? Oh, it's empty. Uh, all of this is molded. Empty. There's empty gas cans. What is that? Final charge heavy-duty coolant antifreeze no way is that a giant i'll buy this dang truck just for that i sure will so i'm, I'm gonna bet this is a theft recovery oh that's empty dag nabbit i would have bought it for the big old thing of antifreeze do not tread on me biohazard 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 needles so typically when you see something like this, especially when it's full of junk, like I'm gonna open it up and show it to you real quick. Hopefully nothing falls out because I don't wanna pick anything up. You gotta be very careful with these cars, guys. Um, typically when you see something like this, this is not somebody's car that, you know, you don't go out and buy a 2020 F-150 and do this to it, all right? This is generally gonna be a theft. Somebody stole the car, they lived in it, and they probably went around stealing other people's stuff. The seat belt has been cut. That's different. I don't want to poke around in here. No pun intended. Actually, pun is intended. But I do see a knife down in there. There's a key fob right there, if you can see it. Uh, but again, I'm not. I'm not going to go sticking my hands in this car very much. Okay. Uh, this was probably a theft recovery. I'm not gonna say for sure that it was. Uh, I really don't know. It's also completely possible that somebody fell on hard times. Maybe somebody became uh, addicted to drugs and their life went to hell in a handbasket. It's also quite possible that the needles in this car are simply for insulin. I, I really don't know, but it's just, it's super rare to find a new car, a newish car like this that is this trashed and full of stuff, including needles, if there's not a little bit more to it. I'm not gonna stick my hands much down here, but look, there's a bottle of a uh, bottle of Bud Light right there as well. You got a letter, several pages long that somebody wrote. Okay, but otherwise, I'm not afraid of needles, guys. Don't get me wrong, I don't want, I don't want to get stuck by them or anything, but like a truck this nice, you think I want to let a little biohazard sticker scare me away from it? You got an EcoBoost. Hopefully it's a 3.5. Is it? Is it a is it a 3.5 or a 3.5? Three, there it is. It is the 3.5. So this is the EcoBoost that I like. It's got great tires. Body looks good. I don't understand why somebody cut the seat belts. That's... This one is tied. This one's cut too. And tied in a knot. What? I am very confused. So, yeah, there is some there is some biohazard stuff in this car, obviously. Uh, does it have keys? It does. It is dead as a doornail. I'm going to put my foot on the brake and see if it's got it's got pressure. Somebody cut the seat belts. I don't I don't understand that. Why would you cut the seat belts? It's full of coolant. I guarantee you it runs. Let's throw a jump on it and fire it up. 
I'm also curious how many miles this thing's got on it. Let's... Oh man. This thing's giving me a hard time with the battery. <laughs> Seriously? It is listed as a non-runner, so... Yeah. I'm assuming it's not just me. It must have gave them a hard time as well. Maybe we can... Is there another way? Is there another jump point? I don't think so. See, she sparks. I'm at a loss here, guys. Okay, it's all lit up again. I'm not going to sit here and fight this daggum truck all day, guys. If she doesn't want to run, she doesn't want to run. Nothing I can do about it. <sighs> all right. Well, that's a wrap on that, I guess. That's disappointing. I guarantee you this truck runs, guys. I do. And that's really what I wanted to kind of come out here and show. But I guess it's just not going to happen. My booster pack is running out of juice. Um, we could try a different ground. But honestly, I'm running out of patience. And I'm running out of time. That's a good ground. This positive, like there should be no reason that we're not getting juice through this positive side here. Like none at all. Come on. This one's being difficult. I really want this thing to run because it's listed as a non-runner. I guarantee you it runs. I guarantee you this truck runs. Being listed as a non-runner in a biohazard, that's two strikes on this bad boy when it comes auction time. <laughs> Son of a gun. Okay, well, in that case, be that way. I give up on you. But I'm telling you, I got a feeling about this one. I don't know why we're having whatever problems we're having here. Um, but I guarantee you, you get this battery out and you put a charge on it or just replace it with a good battery. Make sure everything electrical up here is tightened down. Somebody might have sabotaged it. Loose it. I mean, hell, this is loose on its own, you know? Somebody's mess around in here. I guarantee you she runs. I mean, don't take my word for it. Let me, let me rephrase that. If I'm buying it, I guarantee you it'll run. If you buy it, uh, it may or it may not run. I don't know. I can't, I can't give you a guarantee. But I tell myself this because it's got low miles, 31,800 miles on it. There's no way this truck doesn't run. All right, guys and gals, listen, I really do need your help. I know I said this earlier. I'm going to say it one more time. I need you to comment below and tell me what you think of these one car videos twice a day. Maybe once in the morning once in the evening all right let me know because these you could squeeze in on the bathroom break or while you're trying to eat breakfast or something you, you could get these videos in a lot quicker get them watched and over you could watch something else or you could go back to work if, if you're sneaking off to watch my videos uh, when you should be working i'm trying to make this to where it, it works better for your lifestyle and it's just an experiment if it doesn't work and if enough of you say hey we don't like this we'll go back to the old style i just can't decide how i want to do it i want to do two videos a day and i can't decide if i want to do one car per video once in the morning and once in the evening or if i want to do three cars in each video once in the morning once in the evening i'm really trying to figure this out but to do that i need your help because i need to know what it is you folks enjoy the most the short videos or the longer videos with that i'm going to get out of here i hope you enjoyed today's content hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it drop your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel until next time stay safe out there everybody i look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one